In this video, I'm gonna show you how to level your gatherers and crafters if you choose passively without ever having to gather or craft yourself. Of course, before we get in the video, let's just take a moment to appreciate my alt character's glamour. It's super cute and I feel like she deserves a little praise for that. So hit that like button if you like her glamour. Crafters and gatherers are always a really hot topic in Final Fantasy XIV. A lot of people are just not interested in crafting or gathering. Comment down below if you like it or you don't like it. I'm actually really interested to see who does. Jumping into this method, before you can do this, you do have to get to your grand company. That's around level 20 main story quest. After that, you need to level up your grand company a little bit. Not much, it's not too difficult and should only take an hour or two depending on the job that you're maining. But you're going to have to level it up anyway as well as you should because it gives so many benefits. So it's not just for this method, but there's a lot of other things that the grand company offers that you need to get and have access to. So don't worry about it just doing it for this method. You will need the grand company for lots of other things. I have a video on how to get to the point where you need to be in order to do this and I will link it at the end of this video so you can watch it once you're done with this one. Once you get the grand company where you need it to be, you can just simply go unlock your gatherers. Now at this point, you can choose your own adventure. I myself chose to level up my gatherers manually from 1 to 20. 1 through 20 takes about 15 minutes, if that, when you do it manually. So you can decide to get a jump start on leveling or you can just do this method only. Once you've decided, all you want to do is just click over to your timers and click on your grand company allowance. This is going to tell you what materials you need to turn in to level up your gatherers and crafters. On my alt character here, I just have gatherers unlocked and it shows that we need green quartz and cedar branch. So you could go collect these, but the whole point is that you don't have to spend the time. And time is gill, even in this game. So you simply just copy the item name, take yourself to the market board and look up the items that you need. Now I do have some self-imposed rules here. If I see the item is too expensive, then I will just skip a day. But if it's less than a thousand gil, maybe even a little bit more, I don't mind and I'll buy it. We got super lucky today. Green Quartz is less than a hundred for the 10 turn-ins I need. After I purchased those and I purchased the Cedar Branch, those were a little bit more expensive, but I know I'm probably gonna need them tomorrow. So I'm still kind of getting the best bang for my buck by buying the one for 6,000. That's the lowest on the market board. You then just simply go over to your grand company and you're gonna go into your grand company NPC turn-in. Once you're there and you turn this in, you can see that just for less than 100 gil, my miner leveled up one level. 187,000 experience for just under 100 gil. Like, are you kidding me? That's mind blowing. If you want crafters and gatherers without having to do it yourself, this is the way to do it. And you should be incorporating this into your daily routine. These reset every day around 12 o'clock for where my time zone is, maybe different for yours, but it resets every day, which means you can literally get levels every day for just a handful of gil. If that daily allowance has a star next to it, then you're probably gonna get closer to two or three levels. And as you level up, the experience just keeps getting more and more. And I usually tend to get two to three levels each turn in, especially with the star. Now I will say, if you want to manually level your crafters and gatherers, that's a different story. And I would actually say don't do that until you're closer done with the story because you get a lot of other methods that make manually leveling them, like you going out and physically doing it, way quicker. If you wanna see a video on how I leveled my gatherer from one to 90 in seven hours, I would be happy to make that video for you. It took me about seven, seven and a half, and it wasn't necessarily a lot of work and you don't really need anything for it that you can't get while you're gathering. I really hope this method works for you. The reason we want expert deliveries unlocked is when you send your retainers out for 
quick ventures, you can level your retainers at the same time. And that just opens a world of possibilities because gathering retainers are the real MVP of the game and give you so many things that you could sell, craft, gather, all without any effort at all. So if you're not doing this, I would incorporate this, especially if you hate crafting and gathering. Comment down below if you're already crafting and gathering or if you put it off to the side or if you're already done with it. Make sure to limit break through that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get notified of all my future Endwalker videos. I also want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters as if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to put out regular content like this. And if you want to watch more Endwalker guides or tutorials, then you can click here.